Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the free EB Falcon Revival. Let's get into it. So, the first problem we've run into. Two pumps done, now it starts. Runs. First time in five plus years. How good? But no, it's not good. Let's go drive. Oh, we're not going anywhere. Let's try reverse. Oh, we're not going anywhere. So, I thought the worst. Maybe the trans is gone, but no. Try the obvious. Let's check the fluid. There is no fluid. So what we're gonna do right now is put this in here. $27 from Repco, can't go wrong. I've got some old fluid from another car of mine. We'll put that in it and then we'll see if we got gears and then we'll get stuck into the rest of it, like cleaning it up. Look how filthy it is. All right, let's get into it. Here we are, under the beast. Straight away, you can already tell it's been leaking. You can see all the fresh transmission fluid that's just been seeping out of this gasket. So that's where it's all gone, on the floor. Now, I've got a lot of Falcons. I probably own 10 or 11, I'll lose track, but that's a story for another day. But I have never seen so much engine oil underneath the car before. This is absolutely caked on. Even on the sway bar, it is absolutely filthy. But nothing we can't fix. All right, so let's whip these 10 bolts out, drop the pan off, have a look, and go from there. Let's do it. So when you're undoing the pan, start with the bolts on one end, undo them all the way out, undo the middle ones all the way out. The pan will start to tilt. Get your catch can, get your bucket, start catching it and then just slowly back these back ones off and it will slowly start to dip down and slowly drip out. Now it looks pretty clean. You can tell that someone's cleaned it up, sanded it. Even the pan's really clean compared to the rest of the box. So maybe it's been done recently, but the oil's still brown and there's still clearly not much oil in it. So it still needs to be done. So we'll get it off. Have a look, have a clean, put the gasket back on, top her up and see what happens. So we've dropped the pan, we've taken the filter off, the filter's just here. That just literally just pushes on. That little, little dick there just pops into there and it's just got this spring that locks it in. It just hooks up in there and just up in there. That literally is just what holds it on. Now, I was really hoping to make a dirty box joke, but it's actually really clean in here. Surprisingly, very, very clean. Considering the condition of the rest of the car, it's actually really nice in here. Normally you'd have to sand up this edge here just to make sure the gasket goes on real nice, but. I'm not even going to bother sanding it or scotch brighting it or anything because it's actually super, super clean. I reckon someone's been in here before me not that long ago, which is usually the case. So we've cleaned the pan up all nice, given it all a nice wipe down, cleaned all these little magnets that sit inside there, and catch all the metal filings, cleaned it up on the edges a little bit. Looks good, ready for some oil. Here's the old gasket been changed once before it's not too bad it's a little bit hard but you can see on the ends here they've actually missed the holes when they put it in so whether that was partly the reason why it started leaking maybe it was pulling it a bit tight um who knows so here's the new one so let's open it up and see what we got I wish I was like that Asian kid on YouTube that opens presents and gets paid for it. 
I'd totally do that. I'd totally open Falcon parts for a living. That'd be mad. All right, so here it is. You get the gasket. You get the new filter. And that's all you get. So let's put this gasket on, put the filter on, get it in the car, and then let's put oil in. So it's all done. Got the new filter in, put the gasket on, put the pan back on, gave it a little wipe. Look at that, it looks beautiful. Can't wait to hit the rest of this with the gurney. It's gonna come up so good. I don't even know what that is. Look at that. It's like sticky glue. I don't know where that's come from. But anyway, so the proper way to check it and fill it up would be through the filler plug here. I think it's a 14 mil, you crack it, you fill it up when the car's sitting level till it starts just dripping out. So you tighten it back up, you start it up, you let it run, you go through the gears, you let it cycle through, then you come back down here and check it. Um, but I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna, I know it needs four liters, so I'm just gonna put four liters down the, down the dipstick tube. So I've got the fluid that it needs, which is the Burston's um, DX3. You can get it in different brands if you wanted a pen ride or whatnot. So I'm just gonna bang four liters of this down there and pump like a 12 year old boy. I'm so dumb, I should remember this is not a BA Falcon, it actually has a dipstick. So to check the right amount, you can actually check the dipstick. So it's got where it should be when it's cold. It's telling you to add half a litre and then that's where it should be when it's hot. And it even says check in park with the engine running. How good. So I've put th just over three litres in there because four litres would be completely empty. So it'll have some in the torque converter. So around about three litres, I'm hoping will be enough. So let's get this thing around to the gears. And so